Hey guys, it's Haley. So today I'm going to be doing my what's on my iPhone. But I did one of these videos before and I've gotten, did I get a new phone? I have a lot more apps now. So I thought I would just do an updated one because my first one went over really well. So yeah, so this is my iPhone and I'll show you what's in it. When you unlock my phone, you see a picture of me and Lauren from Fifth Harmony because she's my favorite person in the entire world. So first thing we have is photos, which obviously you guys know is photos. We have the app store, settings, and then in extras we have contacts and calculator, you know, just normal stuff. Then we have voice memo, and these are all of my photography apps. So I'm not going to really go through them, but if you guys are interested, just let me know. I can make a whole video on like how I edit my pictures. But these are the apps that I use. Then we have our little utilities folder, which is the battery doctor, which I use all the time. And this just keeps your phone healthy, which I know that sounds really odd. But you go to charge, tells you how long it would take to charge your phone. You can clear it, not clear your memory, but it kind of frees up some memory space. It doesn't really delete anything. It just gets rid of files that you don't even need, which is great. So it just gets rid of stuff and... Yeah, then I have the emoji app, obviously for emojis. I have guitar tuner, which is to tune your guitar, duh. Um, mail app I never use. Then we have FaceTime, which I use to talk to Alyssa most of the time. Um, next one we have is shopping. So a lot of these aren't really shopping apps, but I have Winello, which is a, it actually is a shopping app. This one actually has like a magic setting. So anything in the past that you've liked, things that are sort of similar will come up which I think is a great idea because sometimes things show you things you're like why the frick would I like this but this app is amazing and if you find something you like it tells you how much it is and where you can get it and sometimes you can buy it right from the app so it's an awesome app next one we have is Polyvore you can just make up outfits and stuff we have We Heart It which is one of my all-time favorite apps this one is where I get a lot of my artsy photos for um, Instagram or Twitter so all these photos in here you can just you know, oh my god, look at this. The amount of talent. What? Then we have Amazon. Everyone knows what Amazon is. Pinterest. Everyone knows what Pinterest is. Wattpad. Read stories, fan fictions, all that stuff. Etsy is another shop. So it's like people make their own things. And it's like small businesses, which is amazing. Um, but you can buy stuff from here. Then we have StubHub, obviously tickets. What I would actually recommend you guys while I'm doing this video is... With StubHub, you want to get your tickets the day of the concert or the day before because they want to get rid of these tickets as fast as they can right before the concert, before they're no good. So totally, totally, totally check out StubHub if you're looking for cheap tickets. Next place is Ulta, obviously. AliExpress is a lot like QVC, which you see I have down here, but it's really just a shopping app and things are a lot cheaper on there. Ticketmaster, again for tickets. Forever 21, obviously shopping. Vinted, I'm not tied into this app right now. I'm not sure why, but I'm not. But this, it's all people's stuff they can put online that they've used or even that it's brand new, but they bought, but they never wore it. And you can buy it from them. So, and it's like a discounted price. Then we have PayPal. Everyone knows what that is. Parcel track is just tracking all my packages in one spot. Then we have QVC, which you guys probably know what that is. Then we have social, which I'm going to leave all of my social media things down below. These are all the social media thingamabobbers that I have. So like Vine, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Ask.fm, Find Friends, Snapchat, all stuff like that. So everything that's social media, I will link it down below for you guys instead of going through it all. Next thing I have, these are just utilities. So these are all Apple apps. So just stuff that the phone comes with. And we have music. So I have a whole music folder. I have SoundCloud, Shazam, Pandora, Music, 8-Tracks. 8-Tracks is like another Pandora but you can make up playlists of things that you like. So it's like Spotify and Pandora mixed. Then I have Spotify Equalizer, just makes your music louder. Music, um, this one, you can make playlists from YouTube and this one you can do the same thing and listen to it with it minimized. Then I have my notes in here and then I have Rain Rain, which I used to listen to when I go to bed, but I don't as much anymore. Next we have social, so I have Find Unfollow, Keek, Dropbox, Aim, and the Period Tracker. Then Vine, I used to make Vine edits, so I have these three. <laughs> Then for my games, I have Doodle Jump, Game Center, Temple Run, Candy Crush, Diner Dash, Bouncing Ball, Kardashian, Kendall and Kylie, Zigzag, Fruit Ninja, Coin Dozer, Jelly Jump, Star Chef, Sonic Dash, and Prize Collector, which I honestly 
don't even use these apps that much but when I get bored I will then I have my countdown app which I think it's just like countdown plus or something but this is where I have all of my countdowns and whatever for concerts and all that kind of stuff Google Earth then we have more Apple apps that I don't use Oop. then we have camera beauty plus what is this yeah beauty plus is where you can actually take selfies and it um like without editing it it just airbrushes your face oh hello hi um but yeah so like if you took a picture like you can see it airbrush it and it airbrushes your face so you don't really have to do as much editing which sometimes is a lot easier next thing we have is facebook messenger follow i never use pacifica this app is so cool so this app you can really like put your mood on however you're feeling that day and um, you can track it throughout several days and like they have these little things if you go to the if you go to the button at the bottom that says relax now the green one it gives you all these relaxing activities which is amazing like I always put my headphones on and do these like if I'm feeling anxious because I have anxiety I have extreme anxiety so I do these all the time and it's just so relaxing especially at the end of the night when you can't sleep so yeah but this app is awesome you can like track how you're doing and stuff like that it's just a very relaxing app and also they have this groups page where you can go into groups and everyone's talking to each other but everyone is anonymous as you can see all these pictures are all just like random pictures so they're all an anonymous and everyone just helps everyone out it's amazing the next one we have is you now i'll put my social media one down below for it i use you now every once in a while but not really often then we have an app that i don't think a lot of people know about this is actually called self shot and this one actually illuminates your screen so if you're in the dark and need to vlog or anything it brightens up your screen so that app is awesome then we have find iphone newsstand time hop apple watch upload if i want to upload things right from my phone for youtube Weather, Yahoo Weather, Crazy Taxi, Beautify Free, Video Downloader, you can v download videos from Twitter, Orbit Run, City, just to study, you know, your videos that you take, Cooking Fever is another game, Postmates, you can like get stuff delivered to your house from this app, iHeartRadio is a music app, Episode is a game, TV Remote for my TV, obviously, or my DVR, either one. Normalize is another great app because you can take any photo that has a filter on it and take the filter off. Video zoom is just to zoom your phone more, but I don't really recommend this app. I would just get a zoom lens from Amazon for your phone, which is what I use for like all my concert videos and stuff. Unfollow, another unfollow app. We have subscriptions, which is all my subscriptions if I if the YouTube app is like messing up. We have Cloud Path, which is a game. Foodie, which is actually a really cool um, photo editor for food pictures, which is ridiculous. But I can use it for regular selfies too, but it's made for food pictures. And then we have BuzzFeed. Everyone knows what BuzzFeed is. And also on the bottom, I have messages, Safari, phone, and Kick. Kick is what I use to talk to Alyssa, so that's why that's on the bottom. <laughs> Google Translate, Tip Calculator, Yik Yak, Sing, Airbrush. Airbrush is a good app. Acapella, Tinder. I know, guys, Tinder. Elf Yourself. I got this around Christmas time, and I never deleted it because I didn't want to. Um, Piano Tiles 2, which is another game. Twitch, which is a, like a game streaming website. Then we have Stabilizer. It's another um, stabilizing kind of shakiness app. Then we have Crossy Road, Gyrosphere, Uber. Everyone knows what Uber is. We have Rolling Ball or something like that. That's a game. Stack is a game. Face Swap, duh. Backstage. A lot of people post like backstage photos and stuff of concerts. We have Sephora. We have Cubes. Photography. There's a couple more photography apps that I use. Then we have What's Up and Makeup. This is the What's Up and Makeup app, which is actually Jen Loves Reviews app, and I'm obsessed with her videos lately and just her. So I have this app and I do the paid subscription. So I have all of her exclusive videos that only we get to see because the collective brain is the best, but yeah. So this is her app. Totally, totally, totally recommend you one, checking her out, and two, checking out this app. Even if you don't like pay for the subscription like it's totally worth it anyways it's like $1.99 then we have boomerang which you can make gifts a lot of people do this for instagram i'm going to be doing i'm going to be doing it a ton for instagram in the summer so i decided to download it now and the last page we have yes my background is paradise and war zone from pillow talk i know um, 
We have Bubble Cloud, another game, Amazon Video, which I watch a lot of stuff on there because I like my phone better than TV. I don't know. Then we have Beauty Plus, another photo editing, Witchbone, Sonic Boom, which I love lately. Lauren Elizabeth, she has her own app. She's a YouTuber as well, obsessed with her as well. And she got her own app, so I had to download it to, you know, support fellow YouTubers. But this is her app. It's, like, so aesthetically pleasing. I'm obsessed. So her app's awesome. We have Movie Stash or Move Stash. I'm not really sure. But this one, what you can do is you can take any video and kind of just blend out wherever you need it to be blended out. So, like, if you... If you're filming a vlog or something and for some reason your address, you forgot to cover it, you can use that to block it out, which is what I usually use it for. Or um, like store names or whatever, or like a mall close to me. Then we have charades, which is like heads up, but I got this for my vacation that's coming up because me and Ashley are freaking weird. And then we have snups, which I actually found from another um, what's on my iPhone video, which is pretty cool. I can't remember whose it was. If I think of it, I'll leave it down below. But this one, you just... It tells you like pick what you like and it's a lot like Instagram and you can just wow thing it's like you wow it and stuff it's like Instagram but it gives you a lot of inspiration so I really like this app so that is everything I have on my phone you guys I hope it wasn't too long and too boring I know I have tons and tons of apps but my phone is my child so <laughs> yeah well I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you in my next one bye